As a car guy, I've always wanted a vintage gas pump in the garage like this one, but I didn't want to pay the price. I generally run $2,500, $3,000. So here's my shot at making a vintage gas pump out of an old 1950-51 refrigerator. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for free. The other place you can look is Craigslist under appliances and free. A lot of times people are giving them away or you can pick one up for, you know, 50 or 100 bucks. And anyway, here's my shot at making a vintage gas pump out of an old coolerator refrigerator. First, I power washed inside and out with simple green. Sprayed the inside with some leftover metallic paint. I went over it with a palm sander, then just wiped it down with some acetone. Went to Lowe's and got this Krylon Banner red glossy paint. Uh, it's good indoors or outdoors. Rust-Oleum also has a red that's actually oil-based, might be a little longer lasting. Obviously, you'd get a lot better results spray painting, but I thought I'd give it a shot with a four-inch roller and see how that goes. Definitely going to need a second coat, but uh, at least we get an idea of what it might look like. I measured and cut out cardboard templates to match the windows and signage on the real gas pump. Got a vertical center line, mark that down, then laid out the various signage and centered those pieces. Put masking tape around the signs where I wanted to cut uh, out pieces of the door, then used a magic marker to outline those. I took a drill, drilled out each corner and then used a saber saw with a metal blade to cut the pieces out. I didn't want to just put this decal up and have it one dimensional. So I cut this hole out, got an old piece of metal from the back of a fluorescent light bent in into shape. Uh, you can get a piece of sheet metal like this from Lowe's or Home Depot. It's about 22 to 28 gauge, easy to bend. I'm going to put this inside, mount the decal on it, Put a piece of clear plex on the front and a little uh, candelabra light inside and uh, give it a little more of a three-dimensional look. Fabricated some tabs to hold the clear plex in. And here's that metal panel in the front door uh, that the decal is going to go into. Made a little cardboard template. I'm going to build a little light box for that candelabra light. Unfolded that cardboard template, laid it down over the sheet metal, drew a pattern, cut that out with some tin snips. And then I bent it into shape, pop riveted that onto that uh, metal backing. To light the gas metering panel, I got these uh, candelabra bases from Lowe's. I drilled a hole in the end and mounted the candelabra bulb inside. Uh, and then I cut out another light box for the premium sign. I'll put the light box with a candelabra light behind to light up the premium sign. The hose fittings, I just used some PVC three-quarter inch, painted it metallic. Drilled a hole and mounted it on the side of the fridge. I got this gas nozzle off Amazon, although it would be fairly easy to build one out of one inch and three-quarter inch PVC fittings and some pieces of metal. For the nozzle, I just marked out a rectangle up on top. Cut it out and used a one-gang electrical faceplate for the nozzle to go into. I made a bracket for the nozzle with some scrap sheet metal and then just trimmed both out with some quarter-inch drip line. On Amazon, you can actually get three-quarter-inch hose for the gas line and the fittings. I just went ahead and used insulation wrap that I got at Lowe's. For the gasket around the two signs, I just used half-inch drip line, split it in half, then pressed it into place. Once I had that done, I just reattached the two signs from the back. I got a roll of half-inch wide chrome automotive trim with an adhesive backing. Then I measured, marked, and leveled where I wanted to place it. For a little bit of added trim at the top, I took a two and a half inch fence post cap, uh, cut the back off so I could get this flush onto the front of the cabinet, and I just drilled a hole and I'll put this uh, carriage bolt through to secure it. For a little more realism, I got a hold of this decal. To light up the globe, I got one of these cheap, inexpensive uh, ceiling mounts, ceiling fixtures at Lowe's. I think it's under three bucks. 
uh, had to use these adapters to get the uh, bulb up high enough so it was centered in the globe. Drilled out a hole for the electrical. Uh, then just fed the uh, cord through the top and then put a screw in to hold the fixture in place. For the electrical, I just used regular household lamp cord, then uh, wire nutted and taped everything together. Plugged it in to check, see if I had powered everything. Uh, first, I tried using a 13-inch LED flush mount ceiling light, uh, just putting the decal on the front of it. It lights up pretty nice, but it isn't quite big enough. Uh, you might be able to get away with a 15-inch flush mount. With this one, it ended up cutting off that black rim that's part of the Texco logo. So instead of that, I changed course and went for this globe. Uh, you get the basic globe online for about $25. Then I cut out two eighth inch thick, 13 and a half inch diameter pieces of uh, milk glass plexi. Mounted the decal on that. Then I mounted the plex inside that globe front and rear. Uh, it actually looks a lot better, a little more realistic. Okay, so here's the refrigerator we started with, and here's the finished product. And here is the reproduction gas pump. Uh, the reproduction pump right now is going for $3,249.99. I spent right at $200 for parts and materials. And I can use the inside for storage. Okay, so there's my vintage gas pump out of an old refrigerator. Not perfect, but about $3,000 less than a reproduction. Went for 